Having survived my first two terms at art school, there was finally an end in sight to experimental foundation studies. And with the snow just beginning to melt off the ground and the days getting longer and longer, I just had to get through the rest of spring semester before I was done and through to a glorious summer ahead of me. So welcome to a typical week in my freshman year at Rhode Island School of Design. Good morning, Steen. It's Monday. I have studio in 10 minutes and I was so tired that I put on my shoes before I switched my trousers. So now this is my outfit for today. But I guess I'm wearing pajama bottoms the whole day. I might just put some like waterproof trousers over the top and see if that fixes it. <laughs> like, just conceptually, the fact that I will have my pajama bottoms on the whole day is very pleasing to me right now. <laughs> At this point, it was pretty early on in the spring semester, so I was still getting accustomed to my new section, my new teachers and classes, and their different ways of teaching and learning. What made this semester even more challenging than my last was that instead of taking two studio classes at a time, we took all three simultaneously. So spatial dynamics, design, and drawing, with homework for each class each week, along with art history and my very exciting class on American foreign relations on top. Woohoo. <laughs> And as if that wasn't enough for me already, I had also gotten into RISD's entrepreneurship program with my idea for a little clothing brand that makes pieces from fabric waste that would otherwise end up in landfill. So this meant that I was working an insane six day week. First on the schedule was my spatial dynamics studio in which we made bioplastic samples in the nature lab from a mix of gelatin, potato starch and glycerol before returning to the classroom to make wire sculptures of a bug of our choice. <laughs> it's 1.30 a.m. I'm still here at the Brown Library. I just finished my video though, so I'm really happy. And I need to go to bed, so I need to finish this clip. So, goodbye. <laughs> Drawing was by far the most intensive class this semester, with our homework each week being to do 12 massive charcoal drawings on huge newsprint. It was a lot. <laughs> it's major selection time. We all already know I'm gonna go into painting, right? But that didn't stop me from sitting on the toilet when I was taking a shower and just like scrolling through the different RISD departments on my phone and thinking, hmm, maybe I should go into industrial design. <laughs> it's not so silly. I don't wanna go into industrial design, <laughs> but I thought I wanted to. Okay, time to make it official. Welcome to the Homer Hall workroom, or the space in which people would literally be working until 5 a.m. every night. So naturally, I would try to avoid that hellhole at all costs. But I was in my pajamas at this point and I didn't want to go to the studio. So here I am, just sorting through all my drawings from my first semester that I've been hoarding in my tiny little shared room.
And I am sure this is an issue for every art student out there, but when you're learning to draw or just beginning to start creating in a new medium, you have to make so much work to get good at that new medium that you can't possibly archive it all, which is just insane to me. So all while I was sorting through this massive volume, like this mound of drawings, I was standing there thinking about the sheer amount of amazing art that must just get thrown away, discarded by the creative community all over the world each year. There are so many amazing drawings made, too many to look at, like where do they all go? That being said, some of these drawings did very much need to end up in that recycling bin. Like they did not need to be in my possession, they did not need to be in my life, they did not need to be observed by any audience, they just needed to be recycled. <laughs> It was also really nice to look back at some of the progress I'd made over the semester and see the insane amount of things that I'd made all together in one cohesive group, even if it was for the purpose of throwing the majority of my drawings out. Wednesday for me was always a good day, a much needed deep breath in my otherwise hectic schedule, bringing with it a good, good lie-in and a chance to study up on my art history course. Unfortunately, this was the only class that was not fully in person yet, but as annoying as being in a Zoom lecture was, I did really enjoy having that art history knowledge to supplement my other courses and having the innate power imbued in me to go into a museum and call things derivative was one of the many positives of this. After that, Thursday and Friday tended to fly by with my design studio literally sucking out all my remaining energy like a mosquito. And before I knew it, it was Saturday. So time for that entrepreneurship course, which always left me feeling inspired, but tired. So in the afternoon, I put together a basic framework for my website while lying in bed, <laughs> before rolling over and hibernating for a while, emerging eventually late on Sunday in time to go for a swim at the Catherine Moran Aquatic Center before having to do it all again the next week. There are many more videos in the pipeline, so if you enjoyed this one, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And go check out my Unscrapped Studio Instagram. Give it a little follow if you wanna see more exciting things coming very, very, very soon, hopefully, if I can get out of bed. See you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.